Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host D-Day, this time bringing you Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. If you're enjoying the series, please leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Sweet, so we're going to start this episode off with, let's see, I cleared out this other room that's over here. I got rid of all the farmland. I decided that today we're going to go to the nether. I want to go to the nether. I want to explore it for a bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get manulin there. And then I can use the manulin to upgrade the weapons so that they have higher uh, damage. And of course, all of those metals are going to be uh, a lot more desirable. And maybe the nether... Uh, isn't going to be as unforgiving as the dungeons here, but I think if I beef up my weapons, especially like my sword, uh, the one weapon I have right now, uh, and one-shotting monsters, that'll probably uh, make me fare better uh, in this mod pack. So that's what we're going to work towards is the, the nether. All I got to do is put the portal up in flint, but first I wanted to see if I can get an iron lunchbox going. Uh, so that I can put my six foods into a lunchbox and save some space that way. Uh, let's see, blacksmith's workshop, so this is what we unlocked, we'll keep going here. Compost, it wants us to make some compost. Let's see, compost is dirt and wheat. So let me see, I should have that. Wheat is here. And one singular piece of dirt is in my dank null. Let's see. One, two, three, four. There's compost. Does it need more than four? Four. It needs four. Uh, if you can hear my cat, my kitten is meowing because I've closed the door this time, trying to keep him out of the room. He's not stopping, so look, give me one second and let me uh, open the door for him. <laughs> okay, I open the door. It was worth a shot. So, quest complete, compost. Cool. Let's see. Choice reward, wheat, nether wings, or a common loot bag. Let's grab the loot bag. Uh, next, it wants us to go fluid, fluid extractor. Wow. Biomass, compost block. Let's make the compost block. I have a feeling that this is going to take some time. Like, you're not just going to get this stuff instantly. So, planks and wood casing. Wood casing is planks, sticks, and wood. So, let's go check our uh, wood farm. Or I can sleep. <laughs> okay. Cool, so we're doing great on wood. Uh, let me just grab a stack. And uh, I don't really care about using the saw. We got two, and then some regular wood as well. There, that should last us for now. And let's see, how are our ground traps doing? Perfect, we got a rabbit hide. No rabbit's feet, but we got a bone, and we got some leather. Leather's important too. And I'll refill these. Let's see. Got a rabbit's foot. If we can start saving these up, then we can maybe possibly tame a hippogriff in the future. Grab this, and then I'll put this in here. And let's boogie over here. And we need casing. So let us let me turn some of these in the sticks. And one casing. And compost. Get that dinger going. Oh, never mind. I need to make four. So let's see. Three more of these. One, two, three. And then... Hmm... Let me put some of the wheat in here. Do I have sticks in there already? I might as well put sticks in there. And grab some of these planks. There we go. And 
And three more. I really wish it would fix that. Like, I want to do more than one, please. I don't know if that's a bug uh, with the, the mod pack, but it's kind of irking me. That and the quest book. Not being able to claim fast enough. Silver and two iron plates. Perfect. And I'm full again, and it's tossing my stuff. Let me see. Let me get rid of this random stuff. Random, random. Random. Did I put... Yeah, I got sticks in here. That's where they are. So now that I have it in the dank null, let me pull these out. Bones, compost, and then this... That's random, that's random. And... Let's see... Why didn't... Did I not put them in here? There we go. Now they should go in. And we got raw food. Compost. Cool. Biomass. Put your compost in the compost block. One compost will be converted to one slimy biomass over the period of 150 seconds. Okay, so the weight isn't that bad. I will put these here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And I'll put the compost in. One, two. Oh, I took all four. All right. So that should, in 150 seconds, should make that. Let's see, hummus. Or to produce methane gas in a fluid extractor. Okay. So hummus, let's see what that is. Or not what it is, but how to make it. Oh, we need more compost. And we need dirt. Let me put the wheat in here for real quick. Uh, and I needed the dirt from in there as well. Grab a stack. So dirt... We need... Let's grab eight for now. And then hummus. And then again, how many? Two, of course. And hummus. Let's see. One hummus block can produce between 1,200 and 3,500 millibuckets methane gas. Okay. Another hummus, another compost. And fluid extractor. When a wood log or hummus block is placed in front of the blacks black side of the fluid extractor the fluid extractor will slowly break the log block and generate latex or methane gas okay fluid extractor does not need energy that's cool let's do the fluid extractor it's kind of weird that the fluid extractor is so soon compared to everything else Ooh, brutal that is brutal uh tree tap Lignite block, iron plates, glass, the wooden tank we made, and a copper gear. Okay, so we need to make a copper gear. Do I have, did I make a gear cast? No. Uh, let me see gear. Not a scented gear, just a regular gear. Wooden gear is just four sticks. One, two, three, four is a wooden gear. And then let me grab that. Where are you? There you are, brass. And I'll melt you. Put the iron ingot. I'll put the ingot cast up real quick. Ah, uh, should I toss more of the compost in there? Okay, there we go. Biomass. Cool. Biomass. Okay, we need two regular silicone. Good thing I didn't smash them all into plates. Four glass. Let's see, do I have glass? Yeah, I got three, four. Four glass. The wood tank.
the gear is going to pour out. I need to do... Did it, there we go. Was it? Brass. Maybe it doesn't like that. A wooden gear. Let's try a stone gear. So it's a wooden gear surrounded by stone. Let's see if this works. And let's see if it'll cast on a stone gear. No, it won't. See, how do we make you? Oh, okay. So I don't need to do, I just need four. It's simpler. I was worried it was going to be a lot more difficult. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. I was overthinking it. Two silicone. One, two. And then a whole lot of plates. Iron plates, how many would that be? Three times four, so 12. I need two, I need four more. One, two, three, four. And the hammer. Grab the hammer. And there we go. And is that everything we need to make the tree fluid extractor? Oh, did I only, yeah, I need to make the tree top and I need just four more stone. One, two, three, four, and then one more glass, and then I also need to make the, the, the tree top, which is one stick. Get a stick, and it was like this. Whoop. Tree top, uh, and um, it probably needs a full durability one. that I don't need anymore. Uh, it probably needs a full durability. I was going to say I was going to use it real quick to grab some resin from outside, but uh, I'll just make another one. So here's the, the fluid extractor. Excellent. And while I'm thinking about it, not that, uh, I will make one more. Tap. And let me go outside real quick. Let's see if the, the rubber trees have grown. Yep, there's my rubber trees. I use the treetop. Oh, cool. It looks a little bit different. Oh, and they go in instantly into the inventory. That's good. Let's see. Anything on this side? Nope. There's one, there's one. I can't reach, but that's fine. Ooh, this one came out perfectly square. There's one. Another one. There's another one. Oh, nice. Two. These trees are serious. Since the design on it looks a little bit different, I'm worried that uh, they're not going to come back. But I think we have more than enough right now. Did I get it? There we go. Whoa. Okay. Put the tree tap back into my tool bag, the hammer I don't need. And then let's see how we're doing now. I guess I can put the stone gear in here because there's going to be other gears in here as well. And let's see, I'll eat this lemon bar, get it out of my inventory. So we made the tree fluid extractor. Item reward, five iron. 
Okay. We did the biomass, silver coin, choice reward. Yeah, I'll go with the common loot bag. Okay, and okay, squeezing gas. The easiest way to obtain methane gas is to put biomass in a squeezer. Luckily, I made that already. So let me hold that. That's pretty cool. I made that because I wanted to double my ores at the very beginning. All right, so fluid extractor. Let me get rid of this. I like the cart assembler, but it's not needed. After you make a cart, you don't really need it anymore. So let me do this. I'm going to put the tree fluid extractor here. Of course, it's facing the wrong way. How can I make it face my way? Not like this. OK, now you're there. That's better. F7, yeah. Let me put a torch up. That's good. Let me see if I can put it one higher. You good? OK. So there we go. Let me put the hummus in front of it. Like that. And then do you need to be told latex fluid containers? It's making methane gas. Uh, but how do I get it to go in here? Put the squeezer in on this side. Yeah, see the I know that the the groove, that that groove right there will if it's pointed at the blacksmith's workshop it should put it in there so let's put some slimy biomass in all right and squeeze it okay did you go in there now 250 yeah i need to put the lever down there and the biomass squeeze some of this and get it in there so now we know how to make the get the methane in I'll do one more and that's the last one and I have 1000 in there now okay cool also, can I put my tools in here? The hammer, right? The hammer goes in there. Yeah. And what do you want me to do next? Squeezer, item reward. We got an oak bookshelf. Okay. And okay, fluid, 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 automatic. All right. Wait, what? To extract methane gas from your machines, you. You need a fluid duct, a servo, and a fluid tank. As a small thank you to play my mod pack, I've prepared a little gift for you. Fluid ducts plus servos. Oh, okay, so the, the item rewards. That's nice. I can use those. That's cool. Uh, another wood tank. So it's a, a quest we've already done. Got a piston. I don't know where, where how. I, I guess that was one of the quest rewards. Let me get rid of some of the stuff. That seems like my issues. I always get overburdened. Sapling up. Throw the dirt down, because that will go into my dank. I'm not sh exactly sure how to get the methane to extract, though. I don't know. OK. La latex. No. Fluid. Uh, down. Back. Go back. I don't know. I'll try to figure that one out. So we need to make the wood tank. Yeah. Which should be super duper simple. Did it need glass though? Wood tank needs eight glass. Seven glass. Oh, another wood tank. And cool, we got uh, fluid duct and servos. And empty cells. We need to make four empty cells. Can be used to craft compressed air, cooling cells, and much more. They can be filled with any liquid in the game. This is a gas, though, right? Yeah. So, let's see. I really want to make the. Okay, it was just lunchbox. 
lunch. And that requires 2,000. So let me do, does it require the lead pliers and the burner as well as the hammer to make the lunchbox? To make the key, I need an upgrade. I need a wood casing, sticks, filter module is a hopper. Hopper needs the rolling machine. Wow, this is, I might just go to the nether. Methane gas to make a hopper. One, two, three. Empty cells, let's see, What's what do you want for empty cells? Should be tin, right? Okay, the the hammer. So, so is there a blacksmith's rolling machine? So it does not, does not go into the blacksmith. Uh, two tin plates, two tin ingots and a pane. Tin plates, one, two. Tin ingots, one, two. And a glass pane, one. And the hammer. And there we go. I'm gonna grab that before I forget about it. I wanna take it with me. I can fill it up with four buckets of lava while I'm in the ne uh, in the nether. I'll put the fluid duct and the servo in here because it's like tools. I'm going to be working on this stuff. Tool, I'll put the empty cell away because I already got one from getting the lava cell earlier. I'll put this away, that and that. And the compost I'm going to put into here. Cool. I'll make some more methane gas. I'll ditch the iron and I'll put the wood in here, I'll put the glass in here, the wheat back in there, hummus, seems like I'm gonna need that later, lemon lime soda, okay we'll take that with us, Got the sleeping bag's not gonna be necessary in, uh, in the nether. Let's see, I know I checked something with wood casings, perfect, I get a, another wood casing, uh, okay, wood to iron. Let's see what we got here. Rough brownstone. Rice slime balls. Let's see what. Let's see if we can get a lunch bag. Rice slime ball. Is rice dough around water? And how many do we need? We need two. And how many does it make? It makes two. So we need four rice dough. Let's see. Rice dough is potato and rice. One, two, three, four. Where I got the taters. Taters. Turn them all into baked potatoes. No. Let's see. Did I? Did any of them grow? Uh, got potato all the way back here. But are you gonna give me four? Oh, you're gonna give me three. <laughs> For real? I need more. One more. No dice? Okay. Let me put this stuff up for now. Or like, one makes one, right? Yeah, so I need four to make that, okay. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go to the nether. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I wanna get to the nether. I wanna start uh, uh, farming up some manilium. It's super important. Put that up. I need the obsidian. We'll put the water up. We'll check out what's in these loot bags. Common loot bag has a torch arrow, has an ender arrow, gold plate, and iron. Uh, iron boots, oak saplings. 
Uh, torch arrow, ender arrow. So we can put that up. Oop, I ran out of place. Space. I'll take the coal back out. Put the boots up. How am I on armor? I'm totally fine on armor. And put the coal in here for now. The arrows can go in here. The sapling can go in here. The tools can go in here. And then where did my flint and tinder go? Did I just what did I just do? Did I just ditch my flint and tinder again? What's really weird is uh I couldn't find the the one I made last episode. Did I ditch it in here? Let's see, let's see. I'm probably going to have to re-watch and see what I just did with it. That's so weird. There it is. Okay. Okay. I was just... I noticed because that's the second time that I misplaced uh, Flint and Tinder. I have enough food. I'll be fine. I have... I don't need torches in the nether. My tool is, is fixed. I might as well fix my sword just in case I run into anything. Cool. I got sharpening kits for the mattock, but I don't need the mattock. Buckets and a tank for lava. Alright. Let's see how terrible n the nether is in this mod pack. <laughs> Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two. And let's light it up. Click. There we go. And let's boogie. God, I hope I don't spawn up in the sky. I want to be on the ground level, please. Don't make me run around like a like an amateur looking for a way down stock there's a wall over there so I'm gonna set my wall here there we go That's just in case I spawn in and a ghast is smiling right at me. All I want is a wall. I already see there's a blaze right there. Let's see what's around me. Got a fire lily. There's another blaze. You got a roof over you, buddy. What does... Did that blaze have armor? Or do they just look weird? Or is it not a blaze? Oh my goodness. Are you melee blaze? Whoa. Okay. It's super dangerous in here. I am shocked. I got my butt kicked. I really wish I could get some HP faster than this. Did I get blaze rods? Yeah, I got blaze rods and blaze powders. So I guess that's a win. I need to be more careful. Let's grab some of this glowstone. Glowstone. I hope the pigmen don't care that I'm mining. And quartz. Yes, I need quartz. What is this? Tiberium ore? Okay. Around. Heard something weird. Oh, God! That's what it was. Oh, my God, that scared me. <laughs> 
Blaze? Was it the Blaze's fault, or was it... Did that Tiberium ore explode? That just... Oh, man. That freaked me out for a second there. Okay, I got a Wither armor Army after me. Wither Skeletons. I came here because I wanted Cobalt. And I can't... I can't mine it? Dude. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay, there's Wither Skeletons everywhere. I'm not used to Wither Skeletons being outside of Nether Fortresses. Whoa. Oh, am I safe here? Oh, man. Oh, okay, I, I really... How, if it's Cobalt level... Oh, it's the thorns. If if cobalt is cobalt level, how am I gonna mine it? At least the at least they're slowed on this as well. Whoa. So are they melee? They don't they don't seem to be shooting at me. So they're melee. So I don't have to worry about them shooting fire at me. That's I guess that's a plus. I'm getting blaze rods. I I wouldn't even be surprised if I have enough to make a uh Oh no. No. If I have enough blaze rods to make Okay, I got thrown up in the the sky by a spider. Where am I? I forgot to mark my nether portal. No. This is not good. This is not good. I've I already got spun around. Oh, did I come from up there? I think I came from over there. Well, let's do a little bit of exploring. Maybe is it if 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 I eat too many jams, do I get sick? Did I come from up there? Maybe, hopefully. Yes. Okay. Let me mark it real quick. Okay. So this this is terrible. I I pickaxe level cobalt to mine cobalt. How am I going to do that? I have mining level obsidian. Did I get any of that Tiberium? With dilithium makes Tiberium ingots. Where do you get dilithium? You can't do sharpening kits. Now that I know they want to melee me, I'm not as scared of them. Okay, those are nitro creepers. I don't want to be on the slow. Whoa. Backpedal, backpedal right into another one. Jump forward. I really just wanted to come in here and grab some cobalt and ardite. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, 
All right. Let me drop off some of the stuff. Oh wait, I can't drop off any of the stuff. It's all on my body. Should be fine. We'll rush the body. We'll shift on it. And then we'll see what we can do. Okay, it's tiny zombie. That's great. E yeah. Let's try this again. Just gotta throw myself at it. I think the game had a little pity on me. It despawned. That, that crazy tiny zombie. These things though. Never thought I was gonna have such a great, <laughs> great haul on blaze rods. But I need to pick X cobalt for Ardite as well. I'll grab this quartz, I can at least put it on my sword. So it's not gonna be a total bust. Careful. I can hear a blaze and a ghast. Come on, buddy. Dance with me. Dude, dude. Sulfur, netherrack. Okay. Let me get out of here for a second. Gather myself. Ah, uh, that was rough. I might have to wall up the uh portal for now. Okay, that's where you went, buddy. Thanks. That's wonderful. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna say, don't build your nether portal inside your base. But this is literally the first time I've ever had an issue. This little punk. I'm gonna have to just throw myself at him. He's being a punk. Come here. Man. He's got a sword, a shield, and full armor. Punk. This is my house. Get out of my house. My house! Punch you to death. Get out of my house. You will die by my fist. Pop! Pop! Yeah! That's what you get. You gave me a glowstone sword. Nine attack damage. What a punk! Oh, okay. What did I throw? The glowstone sword. I put netherrack in here. Gloomy netherrack. Could put the glowstone in here. Uh, let me pick up that sword just in case it's better. What? It, my sword is 8.7 and his sword was 9. Man, and all of these deaths. <laughs> remove, 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 remove. Thank you. 
So that was a bust. I'm gonna do this, just for now. Ugh, this is kind of frustrating. But, yeah, like, I, I'm trying to find shortcuts, and the game is punishing me for that. Like, I don't really want a, uh, a terrible, like, sh terrible shortcut. Like, uh, cheese the game kind of shortcut. I, I'm just trying to make it a little bit easier, you know? Like, I can make it a little bit easier. I'm going to put this nether quartz on my sword now. Let's see how much I can do with that. So I get sharp. See, it goes up to 11. So that's good. Now my sword does 11. I mean, it's a plus. I can still repair it with uh, silver. I won't have to do manulin. But now I, I need to figure out, like, mining level cobalt for... Uh, what's it called? For... Let's see. Mining level cobalt. Mining level cobalt. Nightly. Cobalt, of course. Ardite. Nope. Manulin, no. Superium. Aurorium. Boron. Al Alamite. Okay, maybe Alamite. Osmiridium. Does not sound like Osmium. Cryonite. Pladium. Terax. I've never heard of these. Night Sharpenite, Luminix, Obsidiorite, Sharpening Niob, I don't, I've never heard of these. I've heard of Alamite. Let's see what they, let's see how to make Alamite. What's the alloy for it? It is Molten Obsidian, Molten Iron, and Molten Aluminum. Have I even come across aluminum yet? And then if I upgrade it to that, I'm not going to be able to repair it. I have aluminum, but I got those from, from chests. I don't want to make a pick that I can't repair. Obsidian, iron, and aluminum makes alumite. And then if I make my pickaxe head out of alamite, I should have mining level of cobalt. I'm probably missing something super, super obvious. Like, let's check out this Tiberium crystal. I was able to do that. I don't know where dilithium crystals are. And you can make Tiberium. Let's see, ty Tiberium. Pickaxe head. Let's see, I can highlight that. Mining level diamond. No. Mining level diamond, so that's useless to me as well. Let's see, silicone, red alloy. Inori. Majestic. Mana steel, refined obsidian, now let's see, lead, mining level iron, Nightly. What is nightly? Nightly is cobalt, but how do you make it? Molten night metal. Molten night metal. God. Oh my god. You melt down the boss, the phantom boss, his armor to get night metal. So it's not that. I'll have to figure it out. I'll really ha I'll have to figure it out. Um, 
Wow. Tin nugget. What are ashes used for? To make regular ashes. That's kind of useless to me. Makes compost. Makes fertilizer. Makes ash bricks. Okay, that's useless. Sulfur. Inferium. The wither bone. Can I use that for anything cool? Dragon bone bow. Wither dust. Wither bone leggings. Can make armor from it. Wither bone helmet. That's kind of cool looking. All right. So not ready for the nether yet. That portal's just gonna stay sealed for a while. Let's open this common loot bag. Banana split, coal, and iron. Where did I end up sticking the coal? Did I put the coal in here? Yeah. With a bone, this is now full. So now I'm having a uh, an issue with storage. I'll put the stuff that looks like blocks into the block for now. Get rid of this. that. Alright, so I guess since we can't do that, I might uh, try to mine some more nether quartz on, like, off camera. See if that's, if that's working at all. Uh, 11 attack damage. That's, it's better. It's the best weapon that I've seen in the game so far. I, uh, and I'm pretty sure I was only a little bit away. Sharp. Yeah, so six, seven, eight. I'm eight away from getting another sharp, so modifier, so. And then, yeah, plus five versus undead. That's why I picked silver, so. If I'm thinking of silver doing it right, it's 16 against undead. Should be good. Looting one, no problem. I guess we can do a couple more quests to leave this on a uh, on a high note. Let's see what rough brownstone is. Brownstone. Brownstone is sandstone around. Does it have to be red? No. Okay. Sandstone around clay. Did I put my clay in here? Yes. Let me grab two just in case it wants me to do more. And then, no, I didn't. I have my sandstone still in here. And then let's hope it only needs one. Or four, I mean. Yeah, rough brownstone. You move a bit faster on it. Is a block that can be processed into several other types of brownstone on which you can walk faster. Its speed increase makes it suitable for long distance roads. Okay, so if you wanted to do roads in between rough brownstone. Is it because I, I, I didn't do rough? Rough brown, why? Why would you make me, why would you do brownstone and rough brownstone? So I just used my sandstone for that. Can I just do this? Nope, it turned, it's, it's brownstone. Can I revert this at all? Nope, I made brownstone. I need three sandstone, I have two. To make more sandstone, I need a bucket and sand. And I did not go, I didn't have any time to go get any new sand. So I can't make that right now. I'll have to get some sand off camera and get everything, all of that ready. Let's see. I can't make the rice slime balls because I need taters. Let's see if any taters grew. Nothing yet. And I need fertilizer, of course, to make more taters on the spot. We got more biomass. If it'll let me take it. There we go. And I can do this. I'll do that off camera. 
and let's see. I think since we're having an issue with uh, with taters, let's make a watering can. That's probably that that that'd be a good note, a nice clean note to leave the episode on is a watering can. And for a watering can, I need one plate, three ingots. One, two, three, one. I can toss this because it's in my dank null. And I need a bucket. And let's give me this. Thank you. Watering can. So, watering can. I'll fill it up here. Is it not just, or is it shift right click? Yeah, it's, it's shift right click to fill up. Okay. And then let's see. Give me some taters, please. Please. Does it not work on taters? Did I just I took one of my infinite source blocks? Because that was too fast. Oh, man. Does does the watering can not work? Okay, I think it's working on taters. Ah, uh, super slow. I need to refill that source block, and I'll be a little bit slower this time. Okay. Is it too close to the wall, maybe? Or do taters just take a really long time? And none have bounced into my inventory yet. This is my first time using a watering can as well. I've never really cared about uh, making crops grow faster. This is painful. If it if it doesn't grow a potato <laughs> with this, <laughs> I'll get that ready for next episode as well. Jeez, I get a new. I, you get the bucket back. The bucket that you make for your watering can, you get it back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Anything else, like small wise, that's worth making? Slime bucket. Let's see. Slime bucket? Is Are you going to be difficult as well? Slime bucket. It's the one with the smiley face, right? Slime bucket. If you beat a treasure slime into small pieces, you can catch the babies with a bucket. When you let him go again, it turns into a green slime. I'm sure you'll need slime later. Okay, so I need to find a treasure slime, and I need to capture it. So that's not going to work either. I'm having some bad luck all of a sudden. Oh, uh, yeah, the Inferium Furnace. I didn't have time to, to gather all of the materials. That's It's too close to the end of the episode for me to do that one as well. Uh, let's see, Satchel. Get another bag going. Satchel. And Satchel requires two tin, uh, wool, and some leather. I can do that. Let's see, where's my tin? Two tin. Three leather. And some leather. And there's a satchel. Nice. Satchel is able to automatically store items picked up by its user. This this is called auto collect. Auto collect can be enabled and disabled by pressing cycle item mode V by default while holding the satchel. It can be configured to only auto collect items that match a given list of items. This can be done 
by using the satchel while sneaking. It has various options that determine how this list is used to match items. So cool, maybe I can make this my mining bag. So shift right click, cool, ignore or dictionary, okay. Ignore metadata, ignore NBT, blacklist, so ignore or dictionary. So that means it'll take all or if I put or in here. So does that mean I can only configure which items this satchel can automatically pick up, reclaim your inventory? Okay, so I guess I can only do three items. Uh, for now, let's see, the satchel, oh wow, it's not store some objects can be enchanted to increase storage capacity yeah I guess because it's the first one it's uh, let's see invar and and leather to upgrade it and then electrum and invar to upgrade it again and then signalum and electrum to upgrade it again so it gets bigger it's good for for what I need it for right now so maybe I can make this my 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 food bag that sounds like a good idea. I'll make the satchel my food bag for right now. The iron bag will be where I keep my tools. Put that up. I'll put this up. And I'll toss this. And I'll toss this. Satchel for food. I'll keep one food on me because it eaten once so I'll switch it out with that. I can pounce on the the biomass in an off, off camera to get that done. I'll move this around and flower pouch. Yeah we can get into mystical flowers. Maybe that'll help me. I'll do some more research. I'll try to learn uh, so that I don't run into any speed bumps like today. But, uh, they, yeah, that, that was pretty rough. That tiny zombie took me to Pound Town. And uh, with that terrible joke, uh, thank you all for watching. And tune in next time.